Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, welcome to my channel. So today we are going to just do a basic get ready with me and I will be using the Fiera Cosmetics Luxury Concealer. So it's gonna be kind of like a part two on this one here um, for the Luxury Concealer. If you're wanting to just go ahead and fast forward to see the application, I'm sure the timestamp will be listed down below. Um, but as for everyone else, we'll go ahead and get started. So I am going to go in with my Milani eyeshadow primer as usual. So I'm using this today and I'm going to go ahead and prime the lids. And I do apologize for any background noise that you may hear. It is a very pretty day. So everybody's out. There's a lot of motorcycles in the background. Everybody's enjoying the warm weather. So. And while that's blending in, I'm going to go ahead and set my face with my uh, spray primer and then just go ahead and use my um, core primer as well. So I'm using the Wet n Wild Cucumber Focus, Focus, the Wet n Wild Cucumber Focus Setting Spray. It's a three in one primer. So I'm going to go ahead and use my Catrice, uh, the poreless blur primer. So I'm still using this here. So I'm going to use this today. And this was a brush from BoxyCharm. I like using this um, to blend out my primer on my face. So I'm just gonna mix and match on some eyeshadow palettes today. I know St. Patrick's Day is coming up, that's why I have on the green blouse. Um, so I'm just gonna mix and match today. Just put a little pop of green on today. So I am gonna go in with some transition colors. Um, this is the Violet Voss Essentials 2 palette. I'm just gonna use some transition colors out of that and set my eyelids. So now that the eyelids are set, I'm going to go in with the Ace Beauté Nostalgia palette. And this is what the palette looks like here. So that's the palette here. I'm gonna go in with this color right here. This one is called Theme Park. So I'm just gonna go in with this color here. Tap off the excess. And that's a very pretty color. I'm not sure what kind of look I'm creating. I'm just, like I said, I just do my looks freehandedly. I don't practice or anything before. I just pick up a palette and go at it, so. This eyeshadow palette is very pigmented. These eyeshadow colors, they're buildable as well. So as you can see, that green is really vibrant. Very pigmented. So I'm going to go ahead and the next eye and do that one. So there is a lot of blending on this color. So 
So like these colors that are very vibrant like that, there's a lot of blending. You do have to blend them out or they are going to appear chalky. I do see that. Okay, so now that I've blended the green in, I'm thinking about going in with maybe a little bit of black and a little bit of gold, maybe. We'll see. All right, so this is another uh, Violet Voss palette. These palettes, I get into the BoxyCharm. I get them from the BoxyCharm. So that's why I really like BoxyCharm because you get to sample out palettes. So again, this is the Violet Voss Essentials um, and this one is Pro Series. So I'm just going in on this one and I'm gonna take the black color, which is down here. I'm gonna take the black color and just put it on the end of my eyelid here, the edge of my eyelid. I don't know how I feel about that. I don't know how I feel about that color with the black on there. I mean, it's cute, but I think I may go back over top with the green. I'm not for sure. Let me see, I'm just gonna have to play with it. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm going to line my eyelids, put on my eyeliner, and then I'm going to put on some lashes and see what we can do there. So let me go ahead and put on my eyeliner. All right, so I went ahead and put on the eyeliner. So that really, that helps out a lot. So it's not as dramatic with that black on there. So that really helped out a lot. It's bringing them look together. Always trust the process. So now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and put on lashes. And I am using the Kiss So Wispy Lashes. These are the number ones, zero ones. All right, so lashes are on, as you can tell. So we went ahead and did the lashes. And I'm thinking about going back into the palette and putting like some glitter on the top of my eyelid. So I'm gonna do that real quick. All right, so I'm gonna go in with the Violet Voss Essentials palette again, and I'm going to use the emerald color on here, uh, which is a green. So I'm gonna use this color here. I'm just gonna put a little bit on my eyelid just to make it a little bit more green, why not? It's a really pretty color. It's a real pretty shimmer. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and go in with the Fiera Cosmetics Concealer. Again, I do have the shade tan, so that is the color there. I'm gonna go ahead and apply it. I'm just gonna put it on the back of my hand and warm it up a little bit. And I'm not taking very much, just a little bit like that. Okay, so I'm just gonna spread the product on my back of my hand and I'm just gonna apply it under my under eyes.
So as you can tell, I'm still doing the underpainting technique for the concealer. So I'm doing the concealer first and then I will put on my foundation. All right, so we're gonna let this sit in for a couple minutes and then I'm gonna apply my foundation and then we'll blend this out. All right, so now that it's been sitting on for a couple minutes, I'm gonna go in with my Maybelline Better Skin Super Stay. And this is in the shade Warm Honey. So this is old school for me. I love this foundation. It's nice, it's thick. I think it's perfect for right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply about two pumps on the back of my hand. So yeah, so I went ahead and put two pumps on the back of my hand here. And I'm just going to take my brush and blend it in. I really like this foundation because it's medium to full coverage. You can build it up just the way that you like it to your preference. I really love this uh, foundation. It's an old school foundation. So I figured I'd go ahead and use that today. I am taking my setting powder. This is from Timu, I believe. It's the Giacomo Translucent Setting Powder. I'm just gonna put it in my hand. I'm running low on this too. All right, so I'm just putting this in my hand. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna take my finger and blend out the concealer, and then I'm going to lightly set it with a setting powder. So I'm taking my Real Technique setting powder brush. I'm dipping it into my setting powder. I'm tapping off the excess, and I'm just setting my under eye. Perfection. I'm gonna do the same thing underneath the next eye. Okay, so on this part, I did have a little bit too much powder on, so I did have to blend it out just a little bit with the sponge. Okay, so both eyes are set. Both eyes are set with the concealer, with the setting powder. I don't see any creasing whatsoever with this powder, with the setting powder on top of the cosmetic concealer. It's looking good. So I'm going to continue and set my face with the translucent setting powder and just continue with my face. All right, so now what we're going to do, we're going to do bronzer, blush, and highlight, and then we'll go in and do the lower lashes and the lash line and everything like that. Okay, so for bronzer, I'm going to use the Ace Beauté bronzer palette. So I'm going to use these three shades right here. I have been using the dark one, but it's a little bit too dark on my skin. It makes it look kind of muddy. 
So I'm just going to switch that up here. All right, so there's the bronzer. And then for the blush, I am using the blush from e.l.f. If I can find it. Okay, so for the blush, I'm still using my little e.l.f. Bite Size Palette, which is in Pomegranate. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that word properly, but yeah, that's what I'm using today. All right, so these are the colors here. Of course, this is the blush. Use that and then for the highlighter I am using the Wonder Beauty After Hours it is in Wanderless Glow I really like this highlighter so pretty very very pretty so I'm putting extra on just for the camera so I want you guys to see that pop I'm sure you can see that very shiny very luminous as well. And I always put it above my eyelids near my brow bone. So there's that. And then we're going to go ahead and do the lower lash line and then we're going to do the mascara and then I'll probably do the underlining of the under eye with the same eyeshadow palette that I did use in the beginning. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and line my lower lash line with my eyeliner. And then I'm just taking the same eyeshadow palette and I'm gonna use this color and just line the lower lash line with it. Okay, so that is lined. I am gonna go ahead and take a little brush just to blend out the lower lash line. Get that excess off of there. So I'm taking this color Fun, this color right here, it's gold. I'm just going to put it in the inner corner of my eye, tap off the excess. And then I'm gonna go ahead and put on my lower lash mascara. I'm still using the Lash Princess by Essence, so I'm still using this. I'm just gonna apply it on my lower lashes. All right, so that is applied. And then what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna do my lips. All right, so I am taking my Milani Understatement Lip Liner in Cafe Ole, and I'm just gonna line my lips. I'm 
just blending it in with my lip. All right, and then now I'm going to take my Soulmate lipstick. This is from Soul Genera. I'm just gonna take that and put that on. All right, and then I'm going to set my face with the Wet n Wild Bare Focus Finishing Powder. And I have the color medium tan. So this is more of like my winter shade, but I am gonna go ahead and apply that on my face. All right, guys, so that's it. That completes this video. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you enjoyed the review of the Fiera Cosmetics Concealer. If you have not purchased the Fiera Cosmetics Concealer, please go get it. That is a game changer. If you're in your mid-30s, 40s, 50s, 60s, whatever it may be, and you see that you're starting to age, because aging usually starts within your under eyes. If you don't wanna look like what you've been going through, aging-wise, under your eyes and your skin, your face, get that concealer. You can use that concealer for a foundation. You can use it for a concealer. You can use it like just all in one foundation and concealer for that. But yeah, Fiera, if you're watching, you killed it, honey. I love it. I love it. Guys, go get it. So that's it for me. If you have not subscribed, please feel free to subscribe and I will have more content loading. As always, stay blessed.